Hey y'all, welcome to my kitchen. Tonight we're gonna to make for you some pork chops in the skillet with some gravy. I don't know about y'all, but we love pork chops here at our house. And I'm always looking for different ways to make pork chops. And this is a delicious, simple way. It takes less than 30 minutes in the skillet to get these done. But before we get to the recipe, I wanna remind y'all we're gonna be giving a giveaway for the next two weeks, this nice bamboo cutting board. All you have to do to win is you need to subscribe to my YouTube channel and you need to uh, watch a video and share it to your Facebook or your Instagram and comment cutting board in the comment section. So if you'll do that, y'all have a chance to win this really nice cutting board. So back to the recipe. Now, this recipe tonight is just gonna be for my husband and myself and I'm only gonna do four pork chops. So obviously if you have a larger family, um, you're going to want to double this recipe, but tonight there's just him and I. So I've got four nice sized pork chops and we're going to have salt and pepper to taste. We're going to do a cup and a fourth of chicken broth. We're going to do olive oil, which we're going to brown our, our pork chops in that. And after the gravy is almost completely done, we're going to add a little bit of sour cream in at the very, very end. Uh, we're also going to use some oregano. We got three tablespoons of flour, that's all purpose. And then we've got three tablespoons of butter and that's gonna be what our gravy is gonna be consisting of. So next up, we're gonna go to the stove and I'm gonna get this started. All right, y'all, we're gonna go ahead and uh, put our skillet over a medium high heat. And you're gonna take about a tablespoon of olive oil, put it in your pan. And then we're going to salt and pepper and put oregano on both sides of these pork chops. And then you're gonna to wanna to brown them on both sides until they're a good color. And then we're gonna take them out of the skillet and then we'll mix up the gravy. So let's get this mixed. This is a nice, easy recipe. When you come home from working, all day, it's not hard to put together. And it makes a nice gravy that we're gonna have to serve it over white rice tonight. You could also make it with mashed potatoes and have the gravy for that. Really just depending on what y'all want for that, for that evening. But anyway, we're gonna come back in a minute and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna mix up this gravy. We're just gonna brown these on both sides until they're a nice golden brown. Okay, y'all, we've got our pork chops out of our skillet because they're nice and brown. Now we're gonna go ahead and get the gravy mixed up. So we're gonna go ahead and put in the butter and then we're gonna add in our flour. We're gonna use the drippings off the bottom of the pan. You want to turn your skillet down to about a medium to medium low heat. It's still really hot. I just took them out. We're going to add in our flour and we're going to whisk this for about a minute and then we're going to slowly add in our chicken broth and then we're just going to whisk it for about three or four minutes or until it gets thickened and that's going to make a nice gravy and then we're going to put our pork chops back in and let them cook for about eight to ten more minutes or until you reach like a hundred and sixty degree internal temperature on your pork. All right let's go ahead and add in a little bit of this chicken broth. We'll get this to Turn my heat back up just a hair. This is going to be an easy recipe for you to make one evening when you get home from work. If you like pork chops, I think you'll really enjoy this one. As it makes your pork chops really nice and tender. And then this will give you a little bit of a gravy, to, like I said, to put over some rice. And we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of salt and pepper in here as well. And we're gonna put a little 
bit more of our oregano in here as well. And there's your gravy. Now, once we get all this cooked up and we get our pork chops back in and let them cook for a little while, at the very end, we're gonna add in our sour cream and then it'll be done. There you got a nice gravy. And like I said, if you wanna make more of this and double it, it's an easy recipe to double. Not a lot of ingredients, not a lot of crazy ingredients that you wanna already have at home. So, but I'm gonna go ahead and add back in our pork chops and we're gonna let them cook for another eight to 10 minutes. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put the pork chops back in and we're gonna leave these cooked in here for another eight to 10 minutes. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna show you the final steps. They're already looking delicious. Okay, y'all, as you can see, our pork chops are nice and done. And we're gonna do our final step, which is to add in a tablespoon of sour cream. Now, if you don't have sour cream, you can use plain uh, yogurt. I just normally always have sour cream in my refrigerator. So that's what I'm gonna put in ours. And then once you do this, you're gonna wanna let these rest for four to five minutes before you actually serve them. Like I said, I'm gonna, we're gonna have white rice that we're gonna put uh, this gravy over and a green vegetable, and that's what we're having for dinner tonight, y'all. Looks really good. So we're gonna be enjoying this very shortly, and I hope that y'all will follow me and subscribe to my channel and click on the bell for notifications of my upcoming videos. And if you will, just keep in uh, touch and let me know how you like these recipes and all my other ones. And we hope that y'all have a great evening and thank y'all so much for watching.